So this is a tour of my friend's warehouse. We're out here cleaning tents today. Just showing you the showroom first. It's got a very nice showroom, linens hung up, chairs in bays. There's a desk out here to do meetings with customers out here instead of the main office where everyone works, which is back here. Not as attractive, but a good place for a whole bunch of people to work. And then back here is even more. He's got a lot of office staff. It's kind of crazy. And then out through here, we see some of the warehouse. His brother has a machine shop, so they machine lots of things in-house. This is how they get around a stack of skateboards because the warehouse is so huge. So let's start with the warehouse. So right now, starting out back, showing you some of the storing of the frame tents and structure tents outside. This gooseneck trailer. Uh, that's a new addition to the building. More space and a washing area. Right here is an RV that they use as a bridal suite to rent out, but kind of use it himself as well. These semi-trailers are all filled with shivari chairs and other things that don't go out that often that take up a lot of space in the warehouse. And then even more yard space with more frame tents stored. And then this is an indoor loading dock. 26 foot truck can just pull right in. That way, if it's raining out, uh, you're loading trucks and not getting wet. It's got one of these dock plates. You pull a chain, it lifts up, and then it goes back down so you can easily load. Now, onto the main warehouse. Tons of tables. These are all the round tables. Obviously, they use forklifts to get things up on the top shelves. You gotta have 14 or 15 feet between bays in order to do that. Then, a whole row of just chairs. Chairs upon chairs upon chairs. And tables upon tables. Like, half the things up on the second and third level, I don't even know what they are. Then around the corner, to more things. We got bars right here, wine barrels, dance floor, more wine barrels. This is the other side of the chair, so it's two rows of chairs. This entire thing is just white leather lounge furniture. Then we get over to where they store their tents. This entire thing is just tents, all labeled so you know what you're grabbing. And obviously, you gotta use the forklift. This is linens, chair pads, other things like that. And then we walk around to the frame tent section. All the frame tent pieces are in individual things, so the loading slip says what you need to go grab and you grab that number of things, bunch of ratchets, frame tent fittings. See, I keep all my frame tents together in a bin, but I'm a smaller company. He's a much larger company. Now we are in the dish section. You just saw the dishwasher and then all the dishes, which is crazy that they're also up on the second, third and fourth. And then the other side of the linens. This is all the glassware. Then there's silverware racks. Uh, here's a whole bunch of cooking equipment. I didn't see all of his cooking equipment. I know he's got tons of stoves. And this is their like fixing area, tools, paint, all that. Here is their ground level loading. And then they also have an outdoor loading. This is where they store all their steaks. There's no reason to keep their steaks inside. They're all just stored right here and pallet jacked to the truck they need to go to. And then right here is the outdoor loading dock. So let me walk you to the new addition. So this is the new addition. This is mostly gonna be filled with flooring stuff. As you can see, there's tons of flooring stuff. Well, you can't really see, but there's tons of four x four bill jack stage and other flooring stuff on the far wall. 
most of this has not been filled in yet this literally was just finished recently and it was also built to contain the washroom so the tent washer is in its own room and then the whole hanging system is in this room and this is the tent washer and i make a video about us washing tents